All right, here's one more scenario. Uh, no, they moved. Okay. Snap the hip. All right, this is a really good play. This is really good. Here's, here's a great example of what I'm talking about when I say take all of him, but keep your eyes on your gap. So I'm the center now. I literally am going to take all of this block, and I am going to rely on the guard snapping that hip. But ultimately, if that guy triggers, sometimes you end up with two guys in the same gap. And when that happens, I still have to be able to block it. I can't just allow that guy to run through the place I didn't get. And there it is. And just come off. And when this happens, all you got to do is not miss him. Just don't miss him. The ball should be rolling back. Right? This ball should be best cut, no cut, roll it back. It should never go play side when this happens. And there it is. Really nice run by the runner. There it is. Most most really good cuts on inside zone, if there's any running back co coaches on here, most really good cuts on inside zone happen with square shoulders. They don't turn their shoulders backside. They just stay square, a little jump to the backside. I've seen this on bag drills. Coach Drayton does this in Texas. Just a little jump cut. Coach Huff did it. I'm sure he's doing it at Marshall right now. Just a little jump cut, get vertical, 